One of the things that we noticed was um, that made us decide to step in in our family. My grandmother, um, the memory was one thing, but it was, it was when she also started to struggle with some of the other symptoms that pop up. Depression. She got someone who was always a peaceful person suddenly was more irritable more easily, got agitated more easily. She would forget that she had put something in the microwave. Uh, her dog would have an accident in the house and she wouldn't notice or wouldn't smell it or it wouldn't respond to it in the same way she always had. She's always been fastidious about a clean house. So there are things, difficulty finding your way from one place to another. Hygiene, a tendency to wander from home or office. Disorientation and with day and night, trouble sleeping. That's a big one. We're going to get into that one later. But, um, and then hallucinations and delusions. When those things start to add up with somebody, that's when it's, we, found it, we were told it's time to step in and get help. Can you talk a little bit about treatment? for Alzheimer's, how that has progressed about the vaccine? Oh, yeah, so, you know, um, what can we do to treat this disease? And um, there, you know, we have some treatments now, uh, if you know people with, with Alzheimer's disease, you know people who are taking medicines like Aricept or, or Namenda, um, and, and they do help a little bit. Um, there's a lot of efforts to try and really get down, though, to what the root cause of the disease is. The only problem is we're not sure what the root cause of the disease is. There's, uh, there are a lot of scientists who think that the root cause of the disease is um, what we call these amyloid plaques that form in the brain. And if, if they, in fact, cause Alzheimer's disease, one would think a reasonable approach to try and treat Alzheimer's disease would be try to get rid of these amyloid plaques. And we were, we're, actually, we're actually getting to the point where we can, we can remove these plaques. Um, we've been able to really do that for the last 15 years. Um, the first time it was done was, was, was with a vaccine that you, know, you can inject people with a, a vaccine that would stimulate the immune system to then clean up amyloid plaques in the brain. And uh, there were some problems with that approach. Some people were getting this, um, it, it looked like an infection of the brain almost. But um, you know, lately, you've heard things in the news about these treatments, which are called antibodies, which we can give, which can kind of suck out the amyloid plaques out of the brain. And people are trying to find out now whether, uh, how effectively this helps people with Alzheimer's, does it stop their decline, does it improve them at all? And in fact, you know, we're doing trials like this um, at here in Kansas City where we're studying some of these agents. Um, there's the other, there, there are other factors that people are looking at, you know, if, what if the, you know, there are tangles in the brains of Alzheimer's patients. What if, what if they cause the disease? Then maybe we need to get rid of the tangles, or maybe it's not—it's neither the amyloid nor the, the tangles. Maybe there's something else. But um, so there's lots of different efforts out there that are trying to trying to solve this problem. Um, it's a little bit hampered by the fact that we don't know exactly what is driving the problem. But one of these things is, is pro at, at some point or another is probably going to turn out to work. But it, you know, probably what I would say, regardless of what the cause of Alzheimer's is, we will probably get this licked at the point where we solve brain aging. Because whatever Alzheimer's is, it, it's so intricately interrelated with brain aging. So once we stop brain aging and figure out how to reverse that, we will probably have cured Alzheimer's.